Hi, my name is Celeste Shirley, and thanks for tuning in to Celeste Inspires. This is my We television show that is where I get to share with you what I've discovered about the ability to live in joy as a constant, not just on a good day. I want to redefine joy again because uh, joy is not happiness. It is happiness when it's happiness. It's that joy is a, a steadiness that you experience when you directly live, when you directly experience your life. That means that whatever emotion you're experiencing is guiding you. It's giving you information so that when you feel angry, you know to draw a boundary. That when you feel sad, you feel loss and you need to be gentle with yourself. That when you feel uh, anxious, that you feel uncertain and you don't know what to do. Maybe you need to ask for help or you need to postpone if you can. Or you need to um, figure out how to take care of yourself in that moment. Every emotion and joy is helping you. When I wrote my book, The Intelligent Body, I discovered that of all the people that I asked around the world, in my life, everywhere, whenever I traveled, if they had been in a state of constant joy, the answer was no. I was really surprised because I didn't consider myself to be um, in a uh, heightened level of uh, consciousness. I didn't think I had a highly developed mind that was living in a different way. I, I thought that we could all experience joy constantly. So again, not happiness, joy. So a steady ability to experience your life directly without it feeling right or wrong, just you experience it. And uh, when I realized that not everybody had this experience, I wanted to unpack, unravel, reveal what it feels like to experience joy all the time. So here's what it feels like. When you feel joy all the time, I'll put the book down. When you feel joy all the time, even when you feel a terrible emotion or a hard emotion, you, you don't feel any different. You feel um, turned. Um, you feel a, a differently than maybe you did a minute ago when you felt really happy or free. And now you're captured by this hard emotion. And that means that you'll be as alive in the hard emotion. Uh, let's say uh, you're nervous about saying something to somebody, and, I, and I'm, that's what I'm going to take for an example. And when I was nervous to say something to my neighbor, that's my classic example in my life these days, I noticed that right away I didn't know how to talk to him. So I became nervous, and what I would do is I would go right away before I could pause. And then I would take action and I would ring his doorbell or I would call him or I would email right away. And the reason I felt afraid was because I was afraid of what he thought of me because I knew he didn't think highly of me. And when I realized that, I realized that what he thinks is none of my business. And that helped me to not feel differently about myself when I was talking to him. Do you know what I mean? So I realized that his opinion had nothing to do with me. It's his opinion. And what has to do with me is how I feel about myself. So I can, be, I can feel afraid to talk to somebody like my neighbor, and that shows me that I don't like mean people. That's healthy. It shows me that when I deal with somebody that's angry, I feel scared, which I kind of feel happy about. I'm, I feel better feeling scared than I do feeling angry, for example. So if I'm dealing with somebody who's angry, I feel more relaxed if I'm, not more relaxed, but I'd rather feel scared than angry. In other words, I'd rather not, I, I like that I feel scared. <laughs> I am a nervous person. And knowing that has helped me to realize how to address conflict, how to address difficult people, mean people in my perspective. And that has helped me to be more of who I am and realize I do get scared, I do get anxious. And that's a healthy understanding, self-understanding. So I noticed in joy I have way more self-understanding, way more self-awareness. 
and that has been a real gift. So I just wanted to share that quickly as the helicopter goes over, that when you feel joy, you can still feel scared. You can still feel anxious. And you'll be you in anxiety and alive. It's when you, if I attempt to pretend I'm not scared, that I'll create stress. So joy feels all emotions and it trusts them. It trusts the emotion to show you that what you're feeling. And that's a good thing to know. So that when you feel scared and you take the action anyways, you're going to be nervous as you're doing it. And that's okay. There's no right way to, to live. All emotions are true to what you're experiencing. And that's what joy knows. It trusts an emotion and doesn't try to change it or delay doing something because you're too afraid. You do it and you're afraid. So you end up living a pretty self, well, actually a self-directed life. And that means you act as you need, you take action and you do those, you take those steps that are important to you. And people think you're courageous. You're not. You're tr honest to yourself. You do what's important to you. And that leads to joy. Yes, it does. So thank you. Thank you for listening.